how important was it to you to be here at Comic Con? For me, it's uh, about actually getting feedback. I know for a lot of people, it's about the marketing or about the buzz, but for me, it's about actually hearing what fans have to say because they won't lie to you. They'll tell you directly what they really mean. Even if they lie to you, they can, you can see through their eyes. They can't hide what they really want. So for us, getting their impressions here is sort of like getting fan consultation. And that's why I like to be here. People are very honest here, which is great. Uh, this is where you actually get the unfiltered, unadulterated truth. So it's great to, you know, actually get very honest. You look great, by the way. Oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so, Bob, Allison. when you decided to do Hawaii Five-0, what attracted you to the project? Uh, I just knew it was a sure thing. I knew uh, that uh, it was the show was on for 12 years, and if we could, we're, we're, you're cursing us right now. <laughs> this is gonna get. We're gonna be one and out now. No, it was Peter Lenkoff, who was the uh, showrunner who's running it now. He came to us with a great pitch, because when we first heard Hawaii Five-0, we thought, well, we don't want to be known as a reboot guys, and it's on already. But he came in with a very original pitch, a very emotional pitch, particularly for a show, uh, you know, for a cop show, which can be a little bit procedural. It can be a little bit. Not our style, but he had a great pitch, and I think he's the one who really talked us into it, right? Would you say that we were uh, sort of fascinated by the fact that it was a procedural and that it wasn't exactly our world? Would you say it was a new challenge for us? I would say it was a new challenge, but, you know, we can't just uh, do what's been done before. So it's a mix of the things we haven't done, a procedural, and our usual shenanigans. How did you convince Len Weissman, the feature director, to come make Hawaii Five-0 look like a movie anyway? Len Weissman is... Uh, a really great guy. As you know, uh, we've been working with him for a little while on other things, and we've been uh, really looking for a way to just kind of dive in as fast as possible. And I kind of had a feeling when we were all working on the script together that he was going to really dig it. Um, I think also he's got such an incredible eye, um, and he knows how to make, uh, he, he knows how to do a lot with a little. Um, so I think that he, we also knew that he was going to get the humor of the show, which was incredibly important to the to the characters and to the just the feel of the show. So. He, he created this incredible visual palette that I think is really unlike anything on television, but he also focused on the, the intimate um, character relationships, uh, and, you know, that's why we hired him. Who are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, it, is it your turn? It's my turn? Oh, uh, okay, let's see. Um, how would, uh, would you rate your experience working with uh, me? On the scale of? Uh, one to two. Uh, <laughs> uh, two. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Uh, yeah. um, uh, Hawaii. You went to yes, Hawaii. We're I really did. shooting in Hawaii, aren't we? We are actually in Hawaii. What is the advantage of shooting in Hawaii? What's the difficulty of shooting in Hawaii? Well, it was very strange because uh, we, we, you know, uh, being kind of tangentially, uh, peripherally around the lost world for the last five years, we literally moved right into a lot of those locations. Uh, so it was very strange to literally be following in their footsteps. Meaning we stole their crew. Meaning we stole their crew, and we stole several of their locations. Uh, um, uh, speaking of stealing things. Yes. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, Hi. yeah, thanks for that. Thanks Great. for that. Are you, you know? taking us out of here now? Well, you know, it is my job to do oh, the interviews. Okay, oh. fine. <laughs> Leave it to the front. Okay. Good.